your hair and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome and if you've been rocking with me for a minute what's up welcome back so this is actually the third time i'm recording this freaking review i am not doing this shit again like i'm so i'm sorry excuse my french but i'm over it it's, i'm over this i'm it's nighttime i'm ugh. so the reason why it took me long to figure out what i was doing for this video is because this wig is freaking gorgeous gorgeous so damn good. It looks good as <sighs> All right, y'all saw a little bit of what I did to lay this wig. Let's just get into the review. So the wig that I have for you all today is from Harlem 125. I've never tried this company before. This is my first time. And what made me want to try them was because they have this line, the true line, which features an illusion hairline. Very, very similar to Sensational's What Lace hairline that is ever so popular on the YT. I've seen a few reviews on this line from um, some of the other wigs in this line, and I was like, oh, oh, bitch, <laughs> I gotta have it. So here I am showing it to you all today. So this is the True Line wig, and it's in the style THL04. This is a 13 by 6 lace frontal, so it does have ear-to-ear -ear lace, 13 inches across here, and then it goes back six inches. It does have two combs here in the front with a comb in the back and adjustable straps. Let me give you a quick 360 of the wig. Now, I know y'all see this wig on my head. Y'all see this hair on my head. <laughs> I love this wig, okay? So let's just slide right into the pros. All right, so the first pro of this wig would definitely be the hairline. I'm gonna get a little bit closer for you guys. Think I'm getting a little bit better with blending. If I'm not, let me know. Give me some tips, but I think I'm getting better. The hairline looks good. Compared to Sensational's What Lace hairline, I think Sensational's is a little bit more pre teased but this is this is fine. Like I think this is great too. Like I'm not. I'm not complaining. It did come with baby hairs, but I didn't use them. I kind of like took them out. The one thing about this hairline though for me, because I have a widow's peak, it was a little bit difficult for me to blend my widow's peak. And I explained that within the Kiari video that I did for Sensational. But my braids are old, so my widow's peak is not snatched to the guys like it normally is. So it's been peeking out, so I couldn't just leave it with just lace covering. Like that wasn't working. So I alternated between a black eyeliner pencil and brown powder. I just kept going back and forth with that until I got what you see here. So it's a little darker, a little shaded over here, but that's just what was working for me to make this look more natural. But as far as the sides, I think the sides are looking the way it's supposed to look. If you don't have a widow's peak, you won't have this problem. So yeah, the hairline is popping. Another pro is the style. Look at this style, y'all. 
I feel like a like an Insta baddie, right? Insta baddie, Instagram baddie. However y'all say it, that's how I feel. Like you need to know who I am when I wear this wig. Love these layers that you see here. I think the length is great. It's a long length. It's like a good 24 inches or so. So yes, this style, these layers, awesome. Another pro to this wig is the texture. I do like that it is a nice, light, yakky texture. I wore this wig once so far for about seven hours when I went to go see Lizzo in concert. I was swinging my hair a little bit. I noticed when I put it on to review this today, it actually felt a little more yakky. I am not against, you know, I'm all for that. I love a good yakky texture. I'm definitely feeling this texture for this wig. Now, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm sitting here trying to think of some cons and I'm coming up short. Honestly, what are the cons when you look this bomb? Tell me. I don't have any. I guess you could say like the fact that this stops short right here and leaves all this, even though it says it's 13 inches ear to ear. I don't know if it's because of the cap and then I have it strapped like super, super tight. I don't know why it's doing this. So, you know, I'm gonna just cover that back up. <laughs> Another pro to this wig I forgot to mention is that the cap is big head friendly. Let me tell you, if you have, you know, 23 inch plus head, no need to worry. This, this wig has you covered, okay? You'll be good in this wig. It's very roomy. I have a medium sized head. When I put it on, I was like, whoa, okay, you need to. That's why I had to put the straps on like super tight for me. Y'all, I don't have any complaints about this wig. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. In comparison to some of the sensational wet lace wigs, and I've reviewed one, two, three, four, four of them. In comparison, I would say the lace is definitely brown skin friendly. Like this is the type of lace I need in my life. Let me show it to you. This is the type of lace I need on my synthetic wigs. This is hitting for me. So that alone is a plus because even before I applied any powder to the hairline, it was laying very, very seamlessly on the sides. Now, as I stated earlier, I have my issue on the front because I have Widow's Peak, so I was dealing with that, but you won't have that issue if you don't have a Widow's Peak. I'm in love with this wig! Is it gonna last forever? No. Please remember that this is a synthetic wig. It's not human hair. It's not a human hair blend. This style, you'll get some wears out of it, but it's not meant to last forever. You're paying for the look. However, if you are interested in learning more about how to revive a synthetic wig, I definitely suggest you check out Chances in 101. My girl has posted two videos on steaming synthetic wigs, which I think is genius. I haven't tried it personally myself, but ever since I saw her video some months ago, and then she posted another one, I was like, oh bitch, I need to get me another steamer. Like, I need her steamer. So check out her video. I'll link it in the cards above here and in the description box down below so you can, you know, know a way to revive your synthetic wigs. Let me know how you feel about this wig in the comments down below. Is this like brunch approved? Is this brunch ready? Let me know. I think this is a great unit. I'm really in love with it. And for the price point, hey, I would pay $47 for this type of wig, for this type of hairline and this style. I definitely would like to try the other styles. The shorter one, I think this is O2 that I've seen people review. I wanna try that. And they also have this in available in this beautiful sangria color. But I was like, I'm gonna just go for 1B because I think people would wanna see that. So yes, please let me know how you feel in the comments down below. Also, if you're new here, you may as well subscribe. Just go down, click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notifications because I have a lot more gems dropping next week, the week after that, the week after that. And if you wanna see some more of my latest videos, be sure to check them out over to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate and love all of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.